Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to talk about um, the NASCAR race uh, from today, Chicago Street Course. Uh, ended about, about an hour ago or so. Um, yeah, it got shortened again. Uh, the race distance, distance got shortened last year due to darkness. And now this year, too. It, it just doesn't... If you're scheduling these races for 4 or 5 o'clock, and you know there's rain, and if it's a downpour, the standing water, you're not going to be able to race on it. I don't know why they start the race 4 or 5 o'clock. Oh, but the IndyCar race is on, on uh, NBC. Well, put it on USA where your, most of your races are put anyways. Or just show it on Peacock. I don't know. It was sunny all day just until the race started. Then you had dumbass protesters and just... I don't, I don't get it, man. I really don't. Why they started this race so late. Like, just start the race at 1 or 2. If a track that doesn't have... The track that doesn't have lights, it should not should start no later than at least 2 p.m. Eastern. Like, it's just stupid at this point. And that doesn't give uh, the fans that go there... Maybe they don't... doesn't give them motivation to go back. Just, it doesn't give them motivation to go back there knowing, oh, late start time. All they care about is a concert. We don't care about a concert. I mean, yeah, it's Keith Urban, but like, does anybody care? Like, if you're a race fan, you care to go watch the race. Like, good thing we wasted 90 minutes of a concert when they could have been maybe racing. And we wouldn't have to worry about the rain. Like, that's a frustrating thing to me as well. And then they waste so much time under caution. After that Corey LaJoy wreck, which, man, he sucks anyways. Um, but, yeah. They wasted, like, what, 25 minutes? A caution shouldn't take 25 minutes. They wasted so much, so many laps. Like, it's just frustrating. They just done so, they done so many caution laps. Oh, and then we have the stage two caution when there's like, what, 20 minutes left? Oh, 25, 30 minutes? They're like, no, we're going to keep the stage caution anyways. It's whatever. They should just shut I don't know why you start the race late. We all know when summer comes, humidity hits. Showers happen late afternoon. Pop up showers. Pop up thunderstorms. Everything would have been fine if they started this like two hours earlier, but at least it didn't, inter at least it didn't interfere with the music festival. Am I right? It was, it was it was like 20 30 minutes under that just that one caution but whatever let's go over what happened in all the stages um, just the complete and utter chaos that happened in this race so stage one was it was kind of fun for the for that little bit stages one and two just with the rain and it was fun until stage stage one because it started to rain and it kind of just kind of quit. But there was more rain coming. It was, I thought it was starting to get interesting because the dam poured come, and I was thinking it's going to be interesting at the end of this stage. But and of course Corey LaJoy crashes. What's new? Weekly Corey LaJoy crash. I hate to say it, he's just not that good. It sucks because he he looks like he's saying he has a good personality, but he's. Not that good of a driver since Carson Hosevar's come over there. Just saying. I got the race results on my computer, so I'll, at least I'll talk about that after. Um, get done talking about what happened in stages. Um, SVG ended up winning stage one. Had a really strong car. And we're, if we're being honest, if he didn't get wrecked by Briscoe in this race, he, he was going to win. I thought he would have had the best car, but... Unfortunately, he got took out. So, it starts stage two. Um, stage two starts with a Bubba and Suarez incident. Bubba, or Bowman gets into Bubba, I think. I don't know what happened. Uh, he didn't have, like, a, his windshield wipers wasn't working or something. Got into him. Suarez got involved. Bubba had damage. And he still had come back to get a solid finish from it. Uh, Briscoe crashed. Um, just lost traction in the rain. It was heavy rain he just lost traction and um, SVG he didn't spin him but he hit him enough 
match where it sped him up and he hit the wall. And SVG, the defending winner, was done for the day. I fully believe he would have won. Would have won. I thought he had the best car, but for, unfortunately, just got caught in somebody else's mess. In the stage two, so after the red flag, we finally get back green for one hour and forty something minute delay, and then starts with Ricky Stenhouse getting wrecked by Denny Hamlin. Both got back going. Denny stalled. He tried to get a caution, but it didn't happen. Um, then Larson crashed. Um, just wheel hopped. I think. I don't know what happened. Can't. I don't remember for sure. Uh, but yeah, he was done for the day. And then there was multiple other crashes. I know Josh Berry. He wrecked a few times. Yeah, pretty much uh, the 2023 Noah Gregson performance right there. Uh, I know Priest had some damage on his car. Briscoe got into another in few more incidents in this race. So, yeah, kind of a disaster of a day for SHR besides Noah Gregson. I actually didn't hit the turn six wall this year like last year. Um... Joey Hand up, ended up winning stage two. Bowman was second. Come up short of that stage win, but ultimately in the end, it didn't matter because he, uh, well, let's just say he got a pretty good finish out of it, did Mr. Bowman, so. Joey Hand and Alex Bowman, most cars that already pitted stayed out. Uh, they were on the wet tires because the wet tires really didn't fall off until the end of the race. And that's where Tyler Reddick choked. Um, I really thought he was he was running down Alex Bowman. I thought he was a shot to get to him, but he ended up just choking the race, uh, hit hit the wall, and pretty much killed his momentum. Um, so yeah, Drew went to stage two, stage three. AJ Allmendinger crashes, um, gets it back going, gets down Piero to the garage. He was done. We had more crashes. I, don't, I can't remember all of them. I just put more crashes because it was just chaos. Bale. I thought he had one of the fastest cars. It was three wide, and I think Truex hooked somebody. And Bale was done. Uh, Truex, he was like fourth. I didn't think the damage was that bad. He fell back to 33rd. John Hunter Nemechek got in an incident. A few incidents on uh, the, la the last few laps. I don't. I know he got spun in 12, I think. Yeah, just so many incidents. Like, it was just crazy. And then... Alex Bowman ends up winning the race. Tyler Reddick was running him down, but he just choked it. So I'll give the race 5 out of 10. I thought it was pretty exciting in stages 1 and uh, 2. I thought it was pretty exciting. Then state the state third stage kind of got boring. Single file restarts. They should have just went to double file. I mean, single file restarts are just, excit just unexciting. That's why I don't like them. And I think they were good enough to where they could have went double fall. But yeah, let's go over the race results. Uh, Alex Bowman gets the win. Tyler Reddick second. Ty Gibbs third. Uh, Joey Hand, an impressive fourth place finish. Michael McDowell fifth. Ricky Sanchez Jr. sixth. Great finish for Ricky. Todd Gill in seventh. William Byron eighth. Kyle Busch high five. A good finish for him. And Ryan Blaney runs at the top 10. Daniel Suarez, 11th. We'll, uh, we'll have some stuff to say about Mr. Uh, Suarez, the Mexican Daniel Suarez. He should be deported. Daniel Hemrick, 12th. Bubble Walls, 13th. Great to him. He come back after that crash early. early. Um, come back to get a good finish. He passed a lot of cars. But, um, yeah, he hit Bowman after the finish, which he was... I, I think Bowman was already unbuckled out of his belt, so... Yeah, that was kind of dangerous. Probably could get a fine for that. No regrets in 14th. My boy, my boy got to, my my boy got top 15. Austin Sendrick 15. Justin Haley 16th. Brent Zane Smith 17th. Brent Kozlowski 18th. I think he hit the wall in the last lap in front of Chase and Suarez. Um, Austin Dillon 19th. Chris Busher 20th. Chase Elliott, my boy, 21st, and our our top 20 streaks over. But he had the top 10 car most of the race until. I don't know, maybe the wet tires, or the tires he had on, just the slick tires didn't come in until the very end, when he got to 11th and got dumped by uh, Mr. Mexican Daniel Suarez. Ross Chastain, 22nd, apparently he hit the t <laughs> he drove through the tire barrier on the last lap, he drove into and just went through it, 
Only Ross can do that. Jones down to 23rd, Carson so far 24th, Harrison Burton 25th, top 25. Wow. Kathy Girl 26th, Corey LaJoy 27th, Josh Baliki 20th, Eric Jones 29th, Ran the top 30s, Denny Hamlin. He also got in, he got in an incident with Austin Hill, Sandra Cran in the back of him, and wrecked him and Hill. Chase Briscoe 32nd. Uh, March 6th, Jr. 33rd, Ryan Priest 34th, I know he got an incident, John Hunter, Nemechek 35th, Josh Brady 36th, and uh, he's, in a, he's in a lot of incidents. Christopher Bell 37th, got in that incident with a few to go. H. Hamlin in here 38th, Kyle Larson 39th, and SVG 40th. Who would have thought your bottom four would be the four of the favorites to win this race? But yeah, there was some stuff that happened after the race. Chase Dord Suarez as uh, Suarez deserved. I think the car in front of him almost wrecked. I'm pretty sure it was Brad. It looked like Brad. He kind of bumped Suarez a little bit, but Suarez checked up. He passed him clean, and then last turn he just completely spun him out for no reason. So the last three weeks kind of frustrating, man. I mean, maybe I'm not as mad as I should be. He got wrecked in, what was it, 10th or 11th? They went from, like, what, 26th to 11th? Those tires finally come in at the end of the race. But obviously it sucks, but what are you going to do? There's nothing I can do about it. The team just needs to focus on the performances this past couple of weeks. Pretty terrible towards the end. They need to clean it up for the playoffs. And, yeah, people are mad. I'm just just drained from these last few weeks where he's had top ten cars and something always happens. Um, the incident with Logano, Nashville running out of gas, and then the car was trashed in the way it and was... And, when uh, it was dry, it was ha hauling the mail, and then Suarez just dumps it. Really sucks to see points slip away, slip away like that, so. But honestly, it's whatever. But honestly, he was rebounding well. I mean, he was restarted like 26th and he was avoiding the wrecks. A top 10 or even 12 would have been great. Great, but yeah, they need to focus on performance and speed. We, need, we just need to get more performance and speed, to be honest. But yeah, it sucks, but it's whatever. Just gonna move on to um, Pocono. Hopefully, Chase can run good there. I'll be in the Bubba hit Bowman after the race after their incident early, but it was dangerous. He, he has the right to be mad, but don't do it when a guy has his window net down, most likely his belts. I mean, come on. I mean, he'll give the race 5 out of 10. I thought it was exciting to start, and then just kind of went. It was kind of exciting in stage two at the start, but then it just kind of went downhill after that. Bowman really wasn't up front all day until that strategy call. Wish uh, and Mr. Gustafson would have tried that, but whatever. But NASCAR will review uh, the incident on the cooldown lap where Bubba doored Bowman. I'm pretty sure, but it, it just it was unnecessary. I mean, yeah, Bowman did wreck Bubba, but it wasn't intentional. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this 5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say for this video. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.